Hey everyone, it's Jenny and I am back with another Jeffree Star Summer Mystery Unboxing. So this is the Deluxe, which retailed for a hundred bucks. And this had, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items in it. So ten items for a hundred bucks. So if you break that down, you're thinking like ten dollars, ten dollars an item. So I'm not sure if it was supposed to have 10 or not, but it does. I, I took notes, but I didn't really take notes on what each box was, you know, the value of it. It's supposed to have a hundred dollars. Uh, I didn't write down what the actual value was inside each box or anything like that. If you watched my last Monday upload, you saw it was the mini unboxing. I was thrilled with that box. Um, everything I could use in it. There was nothing too crazy. So overall, I was happy. Let's dive into the Deluxe Mystery Box and see what is inside. So this had yellow tissue paper, but um, I got some stuff ready so I wouldn't have to like be opening stuff. And right off the bat is something I'm super excited that I got. It is the uh, white marble makeup bag. Of course, it's got the Jeffree Star logo and this is a great travel bag. So to put your makeup, toilet trees and whatnot. So let me take this, this tissue paper so you can see what the inside actually looks like. So that's what the inside looks like. It's got the, you know, it's marble and then it's got the gray inside. And there's also a little zipper for a little bit more space in there. So overall, thrilled to get this. I know sometimes I don't necessarily want like white stuff because it gets dirty easy but this is just so pretty so retails for 25 so super thrilled i got this and it'll definitely get used i will most certainly say that then next this is an item that kind of went with the items that i got in the mini box and this is the jeffree star the z palette and i meant to have this open but i didn't do that so um, the mini, the little eyeshadow, not minis, but the little single eyeshadows that I got in the mini box will fit into this. And I think I got a couple of other, um, I wish I would have opened this so you could see, but it's just a, it's just a Z palette, just says Jeffree Star, so not really missing anything. But glad to have that as well so I can have somewhere to actually store those single shadows. So, speaking of single shadows, and I think this, it didn't, it wasn't on the website, so I think this was the exclusive. I want to say um, around $28 if you were to, if it had, you know, if you were able to fit every shade in there, so give or take, that's a guesstimate. So, let's look at the minis that I got. And this one right here is in the shade O Positive. So let's open it up and give it a swatch. I really, really like this color. It looks like a very universal color. Like you, you, you could definitely use this. So O positive. And let's swatch it and see. Oh, it feels super smooth. That's what it looks like right there. And you may not be able to actually see it, but it's right there. That's a good crease shade. I mean, this is a very versatile shade that I'm super glad that I got. It's almost got a little uh, hint of pink to it, just a little bit, or almost mauve. So, yes, thrilled about this. Now, and of course, I'll be able to put it in the palette. So, yay for that. The next step is the shade Licorice, and this looks like a very deep red shade. So again, with Jeffree Star, I know his shades are very bright, very pigmented. So if you do wear his eyeshadows, you've probably noticed on those very pigmented shades, they are a little bit harder to come off. So take some little, little extra elbow grease and makeup remover to get them off there. But hey, it stays put. I don't want the I don't want the shadow to come popping out of there. Okay, here we go. So the shade licorice. I love licorice. This does look like a Twizzler. I love me some Twizzlers. Who else loves a Twizzler? Oh, Y'all, I do. 
so let's let's just see now this this shade did not feel as smooth as that O positive it felt almost a little bit more grainier but woo she packs a punch let me tell you look at that I even got it right there so definitely pigmented definitely bright I really do like it again it's a shade I don't really have in my collection so yeah spray my hand down with some sanitizer to hopefully not stain my hand here there we go so uh licorice she's very bright and very pigmented and again the single eyeshadows run i think like 9.99 so i think you can actually purchase the singles on his website now i think i'm, I'm not an expert but i think you can <laughs> and next up is in the shade extraction so let's take a look if i can get it out of the packaging maybe i don't know Ooh, this shade is very pretty. Extraction, yes. Again, I don't want it to go flinging out of the packaging. Super excited that I got this to put these in. You have no idea. So, this is what Extraction looks like. Let's see if it's smooth or if it's a little bit textured like the other. This one's smooth again. Ooh, look at that oh look at that shade that is a beautiful that is a beautiful i really really like this shade i think it is so pretty i could i could just wear this in the crease on the outer corner boom good to go so pretty so so pretty. i think this is my favorite shade i've got so i really thought that o positive was gonna be my favorite but now that i've looked at this and swatched it extraction mm, you are, you, look at that. I can't stop looking at it. I'm like, that is such a pretty color. So pretty. Okay. This poor tissue, y'all. This poor tissue. I can't wait to use that extraction. I might use that tomorrow. I don't know. It's that. That's how much it has intrigued me. Okay. So, next. We've got another. The gloss. I got a gloss in the last one. This one is in the shade Tabletop. So let's see what this looks like. Of course, the packaging is, I just love the packaging on his lip glosses. I mean, I know it's its extra, I, I just really like it. I don't know, it just looks pretty if you want to display it. Looks like this has got some, so it looks like a, almost a brownish with some flecks of glitter in it maybe? So let's swatch it and see. That's not, not normally a gloss I would go for, but maybe in the fall. Yeah, it does have some like almost pinky reflectiveness to it. So interesting, interesting. This is not a gloss shade I would like pick up if I was at the store to buy it. Like this, like it doesn't appeal to me, but now that I have it, I'm like, okay, let's use this. Let's see how I feel about it. And so the gloss retails for, I believe, $18, $18. So I definitely think the value is there for sure. So, <clears throat> next up is a, a tinted lip balm. This is a in blood stain. Is this the, I'm trying to remember what they actually called the, so tinted lip balm. A soft, innocent touch of color, hydrating, silky, necessary, necessary, bring your lips back to life. And the shade Blood Stain. I'm super excited I got this shade. And this packaging is so cute. Again, the bullet, it's a bullet lipstick, but this is a, an actual lip stain. And that is the shade. So it's gonna be more like, you know, a hint of color. So let's swatch that what it looks like very pretty we'll definitely wear this we'll probably wear this quite a bit actually so super excited i got those yes again everything i know the lip gloss is something i wouldn't necessarily pick out but i would definitely pick this out this tinted lip balm um i love all those colors of the single shadows 
So next up, I've got three more items. This is the Velour Liquid Lipstick in Calabasas. I know this is one of his popular ones. I'm glad I got this shade. Again, I think I will definitely use this. So let me see what the lip balm, Tinted Lip Balm runs $18. The Velour Liquid Lip in Calabasas runs 18. I definitely think I got my value here, so for sure. And let's give this a swatch to see what she looks like. Oh, that's so pretty. I'll, again, this is something I'll probably wear all the time. So I am super thrilled in the lip balm that I got in Bloodstain and in this shade, the Calabasas. Beautiful. So overall, again, I'm super pleased I got these mystery boxes. So I know when Halloween rolls around, he'll probably have another one. I will probably get some more I'll, pro I'll probably get some more mystery boxes. He, that's that's where he gets me. Because I usually don't purchase his stuff. His, I do love his lip scrubs. But um, the mystery boxes. I'm telling you, more brands get in on the mystery boxes. Okay. So. Oh, I better get this lippy off my hand before it stays on there all day long. Because I do have some of his liquid lipsticks. And they do. They stay. They're not budging. <laughs> Okay, so next up is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Lip Scrub in the shade Pink Grapefruit in the shade, in the flavor. It's not really a shade, is it? So, uh, great size. The lip scrubs run $12, I believe. And um, they always smell super delicious. Oh, that, ooh, that just smells like summertime grapefruit I don't really don't like grapefruit but the smell of it where it's citrusy and just it almost smells like summertime yes these are really good great for the lips especially if you're using liquid lipsticks or in the winter time if your lips get dry lip scrub and these are fantastic so I've got I believe one more item and this was wrapped up and this was the exclusive I believe you know, I don't know if the Z palette was the exclusive or, the, or if the Star Ranch was. I'm not sure. But this is the Star Ranch palette. And yes, I will swatch the shades for you so we can see. Um, so this is very Jeffree Star now. I know he moved to, was that Wyoming or somewhere on his, on his ranch. So this is very him right now. I think the packaging's cute. And it's got the mirror. And then these are the shades and it's very very pretty again shades i wouldn't necessarily gravitate towards but let's do the top row here we've got yak farm owl eyes and open range so let's do these three first to see these are very pigmented oh oh i would definitely use all of these shades so that's yak farm owl eyes owl eyes is super pretty super pretty and then open range is also very pretty definitely colors i would use so that's very very useful i think a lot of people could use those shades so that was the top row let's do the second row which these shades are a little bit more you know i wouldn't necessarily gravitate towards so we've got casper mountain who these feel buttery wyoming and Star Creek. This Star Creek is such a pretty, like, greenish shade. And again, I would never really wear green shadows, but, ooh, ooh, these are stunning. So again, Casper Mountain, Wyoming, and Star Creek. Um, Star Creek, I know that first initial swatch you're like, but it's so reflective. It is so pretty. My, my camera is just not picking up how pretty with my lighting and stuff that it is. And this blue, this Casper Mountain Blue, oh man, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, it's so got one more row, one more row of shadows. I know I try not, try not to have my videos going over 15 minutes, but just, just hang on. We're, we're almost to the end. This is uh, the last three. We've got Old Jeff, Grand Prismatic, and Winter Wind. Ooh girl these look very winter wonderish winter wonderland ish 
very pretty very pretty blues so again super thrilled I got this I will definitely be using this palette so tell me what you think did I get a good box I thought I got a fairly good box here for a hundred bucks I think I definitely got my money's worth which I'm thrilled with so did you get a Jeffree Star box if so which one did you get did you like the items you got in it or were you like seriously this is what I got let me know I'm interested Post it in the comments down below. I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Or you can give it a thumbs down. Totally understand. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you here. Just hit the little subscribe button with the notification bell so you know when I post videos, which is usually every Monday. So with that, I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.